found out last night uh, that when our shuttle bus was on a trip, the driver uh, swiped a sign and blew out a window. So, you know, just, just challenges of, you know, what we do. But let me go ahead and show you uh, what this looks like and, you know, try to figure out how we're going to get a new, new glass. All right, look at this. Look at this beautiful patch job that I did. I will take credit for actually taping up this window. Yeah, you can kind of see basically the whole inside of this glass is completely blown out. So now we're just gonna have to find a new glass, I guess, you know. Good news is I called our buddies over at Ace Limousine. Uh, asked the guy, Andrew, who told me that basically the way to go is to call the manufacturer so this was built by TotalTop. Um, I'm gonna get uh, my business partner, L to go reach out to them. Hopefully they can overnight us a glass because we need this thing ASAP. And we'll get it figured out. All right, so it looks like our glass came in a little bit early today, which is nice. Uh, it's supposed to come in this evening, but uh, we were able to reschedule. We got our friends from ProBond that's gonna help us out and uh, get this windshield replaced, so hopefully Get this done in the next uh, hour or so and get this ready for tomorrow. Day three of this shuttle repair. Uh, actually, those glass guys that we had come out, they actually do not do side window repairs, uh, a little bit more intensive, I guess. You gotta remove the framing, you know, remove the screws. Um, they thought they were doing a windshield, uh, not the emergency window. So uh, part two, looks like we're gonna have to do this thing. Uh, I think we're gonna be able to figure it out in-house though. So let's see if we can get this thing repaired today and back on the road. We took out the moldings uh, around the frame right here. Actually, we didn't realize yesterday that's all we needed to do, which is pull the molding off. And it looks like the frame is just held on by screws that go all around. We have the shelving up here. Should be okay, because we can get up there, kind of get around there, take out all the screws, and we'll see what happens. Part-time business owner, part-time mechanic. Found this little guy. This is gonna save this entire thing. Greatest purchase ever. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. We got the window out. There she goes. So after hours of struggling with this bus, we are back in business, baby. So come take a look. Here we are, brand new bus. Everything is looks looks good. Windows good. Tape peeled off a little bit of paint, but we'll get that taken care of. All right, so I guess since we're on the topic of maintenance, uh, actually, this is probably a good point, is if you're gonna have a bunch of different vehicles, I highly recommend that you have a spare tire. This is one thing I wish I knew sooner. Uh, not only have spare tires, but also have spare rims if you can. Have a tire and a rim. This is for our XDSs. Have a tire and a rim. This is for our Cadillac Escalades. And there's a whole bunch of various tires. We want some for our buses, some new ones for our, our limo, uh, for our transits. Having a spare tire and rim is super beneficial. It saves you on the downtime. You don't have to bring it to the shop and then they have to hold on to it. Keep it for a couple days or a couple hours, what have you. You can just swap it and go. 
get the old one taken out, swapped in, and then you can just replace it. So you'll always have something on deck. All right, so the spare parts continues. Obviously, I have a windshield wiper in my hands. We have a whole bunch of different cables, aux cords, iPhone cables, inverters, name signs, you name it, we have it. Uh, disregard the best, we got a bunch of different things. But you can see we have everything. So we have backup jump boxes, uh, we have charging cables, we have a few of those, we have fuses, a lot of fuses, uh, we have light bulbs. Uh, if you have transits, I highly recommend getting these tail, these, these wing lights because they always break. So I have a couple of these in hand. Uh, mirrors, the mirrors always break. Backup AC bottles. Uh, the list goes on. Also, if you're going to buy anything that's custom built, make sure you know who the builder is. We kind of made the mistake on this party bus here. Uh, this is technically built by Newport Coach. But Newport Coach is not in business anymore, so we had issues with the AC, with the electrical. Basically, nobody had any idea what the parts are, so we had to get everything custom, fixed the electronics, we had to rip everything out, go put stuff completely new in there. The AC, we had to rip it all down, find the parts, so know where you're buying before you buy it. Knowing common issues with your different vehicles is also a really good idea. For example, if you own an Escalade, know that the struts are probably gonna blow out every 80,000 miles if you have an XTS. The transmission is probably gonna blow out every 100,000 miles. These common issues, if you know what they are, you'll be a little bit better prepared on knowing what to expect. For example, the Suburbans, expect that those transmissions are gonna go out every 100,000 miles. And while we're on the topic of parts, don't be afraid to buy aftermarket parts. I know some people might be like, don't do that. OEM parts are gonna be a lot more expensive and honestly, they're probably the same quality as the aftermarket parts. For example, for Escalades, when the struts went out about 80,000 miles, we thought we had to get OEM parts and those parts are basically seven to $800 per strut. So after the struts themselves and the labor involved, we were paying about four to $5,000 for each Escalade that we had to repair. Now it happened again, basically another 80,000 miles later, and we decided, okay, let's just go aftermarket. We probably spent $300 per strut instead of $800 per strut, and we're able to get it fixed for half the cost. So don't be afraid to get aftermarket. GM versus aftermarket, probably the same quality to be honest. And the last thing I think is actually the most important thing, if you don't have a fleet maintenance software, as you grow, you're definitely gonna need one. We use Fleetio. It was actually recommended by Ron over at Sterling. Honestly, amazing. It helps you maintain and understand exactly when things need to be repaired, what the schedule looks like. You can put your inspections in there, your renewals in there. So Fleetio, if you don't have that, I highly, highly recommend it. Also integrates with your gas, so you can know exactly how much you're spending in gas per vehicle. And also, if you're not a part of the Facebook groups, I highly recommend getting in the limo parts group or the limos for sale groups. In there, you'll be able to find a lot of information. If you ever run into issues, you can always ask questions in there. And usually people are very helpful there too. All right, so bus is fixed. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe and uh, reach out to me on Instagram if you have any questions. Always open and looking forward to seeing you guys next time.